If you want to help your school save time, improve enrollment, and fulfill its mission, check out this video. But if you want to learn three methods for adding photos to your school newsletter and teacher post, then keep watching. A school's newsletter is a great way to communicate important information with your school community. It's the first thing students and parents see when they log in, and you can even embed it in your school's website. Teachers can also keep their classes informed with teacher pages, personalized web pages for announcements, course pages, and more. Both give you the ability to add photos, graphics, illustrations, GIFs, files, videos. Now, images should be saved as JPEG, GIF, PNG, or SVG, and the file size should not be bigger than 3 megs. There's three methods for adding photos to your teacher pages. Method number one, upload a photo from your computer. Click on the image file upload button. Click on choose file and select the image you want. Method number two, drag and drop from the internet. Find an image online that you want to use in your post. Open a second browser window. Log into Gradelink and open the school news or teacher pages. Click and drag the image from the first browser into your post in the second window. Method number three, copy and paste the image's URL. Upload your image to an image hosting website like Waldo Photos, Dropbox, or even Google Photos. If you have a website from Gradelink, you can use your website's media library. Once the image is uploaded, right-click on it and choose copy image address or copy image location, depending on the browser you use. In your Gradelink School News or Teacher Pages post, click on Image, File Upload. Then paste the address of your hosted image in the URL field. Making adjustments. Once you have your images in place, it's easy to make changes to them. To reposition an image, simply drag it into the new location. To adjust the size, alignment, or space around the image, double click on it to open the image file window. Here's a pro tip. Text doesn't look good when it's bumped up against images, so enter 10 to 20 for H space and V space. Now that you know how to add photos to your newsletter, you can go ahead and create engaging posts of your own. And if your school's not already using Gradelink, click here to learn more ways you can help your school save time, improve enrollment, and fulfill its mission.